So good morning, I'm Meredith Ross. We begin here in Israel where a major exhibition featuring the works of 70 Israeli and international artists is happening right now at the Haifa Museum of Art. All cultural correspondent Maya Margui went to see what it was all about and is here in studio to tell us all about it. Hey Maya, how are you doing hey, today? Hey, not bad. So, so tell us about this exhibit. It's a really major exhibition, I can't stress that enough. It, basically, the entire museum has been transformed into one giant exhibition with 70 different artists. Some of them are Israeli, some of them are from different parts of the world, there's some very famous artists there as well. And it examines how the boundary between private and public space has kind of disappeared in our age of social media and the internet. Hmm, that's really interesting, and you made a report about it, so yes. let's have a look. Anonymity, privacy, voyeurism and celebrity. It's no small feat, but at the Haifa Museum of Art in northern Israel, 70 artists are tackling these issues head on. Here there are hundreds of artworks by artists from Israel and across the globe. These exhibitions examine the end of the era of privacy. We're living in the age of post-privacy. With the advent of social media, we all offer private information freely. From mobile phones to security cameras and paparazzi, the Anonymous show looks at just how far we're willing to go to stay relevant. In the era of social media, everyone can be a star, or at least famous, for 15 minutes. I made this work when I was living in Dusseldorf, Germany. During this time, I walked around shooting people. In Germany, many people like to take selfies, so I'd stand near them and photograph them as they were taking these selfies. The art here looks at our era, the era of total exposure. What are the goals of art in this age? What can it accomplish? And how can artists translate this in a way that viewers can understand what's going on in their lives right now? As the exhibition demonstrates, these new technologies come at a price. This is what Israeli artist Dina Goldstein explores in her haunting work titled Black Book. Using magazine cutouts, she creates magical dioramas of surreal fantasy worlds. But there's something sinister about these worlds, which feature giant figures peering into windows. It's all part of a music video Goldstein worked on with Israeli singer Oriel Boher. The song talks about um, his obsession with his former lovers. And I took uh, that obsession, um, which resonated with, with a motive that interests me a lot, which is the large figure peeping into, um, into a miniature room. Ultimately, the Anonymous exhibition shows how the notion of privacy has almost vanished before our very eyes. Without doubt, every move is monitored, photographed, and documented. Like in George Orwell's classic 1984, Big Brother is always watching. Wow, it's amazing. How long can you catch this? It's going on now? It's going on now for the next few months. It's mm -hmm. a major exhibition. They transformed the whole museum, so it's going to be up for a few months more if you're in Israel in the northern city of Haifa. Mm -hmm. Definitely worth a look, and it's very overwhelming. I think you have to go more than once to see everything. Oh, yeah. I didn't even get a chance to see everything. I was there the entire day. And we saw the cutouts. Uh, I yeah. assume that's one of the highlights. What are some other highlights from, from so, you, the bit? So one of the highlights, I think, for me, really struck me, was an artist printed out uh, pictures of people from Google Maps, from the camera that goes around filming people on Google Maps. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Giant car cutouts of people where you could see them, and it, it's a really creepy kind of impression that you get from it because you can actually see these people who were photographed unknowingly yeah. from Google and were just printed off the internet. And that goes with the theme of anonymity that was mm -hmm. kind of throughout this whole exhibit. So, so why did they choose this theme? I think it's one of these themes that is very prevalent, especially now. You know, just a few weeks ago, the FBI director, Comey, said that there's no such thing as absolute privacy anymore. Mm -hmm. And you have Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, who said that, uh, you know, 
privacy is no longer a social norm. We don't expect people to keep things private anymore. Everyone's mm -hmm. pushing everything, publishing everything on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. It's kind of a change the way we see things around privacy and how we don't expect people to keep things hidden from others anymore. Mm -hmm. I wonder just how those people would feel who were captured on the Google uh, Maps video or, or their pictures to have their cutouts in a museum. I don't know. That's, that's kind of crossing very, the boundaries. It's very strange. Is that legal, Maya? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks so much uh, for telling us about this. It looks like a really, really cool exhibit.